I'm going to show you how to reply to online reviews, both good and bad. At our digital agency, we respond to a lot of reviews, as many as thousands a month. I'm going to share some tips with you today that are going to show you how to best reply to both good and bad online reviews. So why respond to a good review? So say you get a five star review from your customer and it's a glowing, awesome review. Do you just leave it alone? It's really worth it to take the time and write a personalized response. So here we go. How do you actually respond to these positive reviews? Well, I've got four steps for you. Number one, thank that customer. Whether it's for their time for writing you that review or for just visiting your business, you want to make sure you say thank you. Number two, you want to make sure you mention the business name so that review shows up in your search engine results. Number three, throw a little bit of marketing in whether that's highlighting a special or just glowing about how great your business is, you wanna make sure you highlight something for your future customers to see. Number four, invite the customer to do something, whether that's coming back to the business or spreading the word. Check out this great example. In this response, the person actually thanks the customer for taking the time to write them a review. They also highlight a feature of their business. Also, they mention the next time they visit, they should try their seafood dishes. Check out that positive result below. The customer actually replied back, thanking them for their suggestion and mentioning they're gonna come back with their husband to try it again. So you definitely wanna make sure those positive reviews don't go unanswered. Okay, negative reviews. What do you do? So it is important that you do reply to that negative review. Replying shows that the business isn't just sweeping their problems under the rug. They're actually taking corrective steps to make sure that situation doesn't happen again. Remember, this isn't just the one person who wrote the review that you're replying to. Anybody who comes across that review is going to see your response. How do you respond to negative reviews? Number one, you want to make sure you apologize and sympathize with the customer's concerns. You want to make sure that they feel heard. Number two, throw in a little bit of marketing. You can actually take that situation and spin it so that your future customers will see that whatever negative experience happened is not the standard for the business. Number three, keep it short and sweet. You don't want to go into too much detail. A rule of thumb is three sentences. That should be plenty of time for you to get your point across. As a side note, make sure you don't mention the business name. You don't want that negative review to be showing up whenever people are looking for that business online. Number four, and this is probably the most important one, is make sure that you provide that customer with someone offline that can handle their complaint. This will prevent a lengthy public back and forth between the customer and the business. Check out this great example. So with this response, the business actually took the time to acknowledge that customer's complaints, they threw in a little bit of that marketing that I mentioned earlier, and they gave them a contact in the real world that they could take their complaint to. And look at what happened afterwards. That customer came back to the business, had an awesome experience, and then updated that review. That is how you respond to a negative review. While you can't make a negative review go away completely, there are many customers who have had great experiences. How do you get them to leave you a review? Essentially, it's simple. Just ask. The business can ask those great customers to leave a review. This is something we can do for you. I'm proud to work with experts within our digital agency that help businesses manage their reputation online. Thanks for watching and I hope I've given you some helpful tips on how to handle those good and bad reviews. Remember, if you're getting overwhelmed with your own reviews, give us a call. We're here to help.